What are hard and soft consonants in Russian? Let's demystify this question. First, we'll talk about how they're different, how we spell them, and why it's so important. The main idea is that most Russian consonants come in pairs, soft and hard, or palatalized and unpalatalized. So, from the English speaker's point of view, there are two kinds of N, two kinds of L, and so on. So, what is the difference between hard and soft consonants? Let's look at the position of the tongue in these images. To pronounce a hard Russian M, I'll press the tip of my tongue against the back of my front teeth, and you can see how the rest of my tongue is in a fairly neutral position. It's not raised up very high. To pronounce a soft N, I'll press the tip of my tongue against the back of the front teeth again, but at the same time, I'll also raise the middle part of my tongue up towards the roof of my mouth, towards the palate. In other words, I'll palatalize it. Some say this is a little like an N with a Y sound, like English onion, but I want to make clear that this is not two consecutive sounds. It's not an N followed by a Y, it's one sound, N. And in the Russian sound system, these are considered two separate sounds. They can even distinguish different words. For example, nos, nos, nose, and nos, nos, he was carrying. So, Russian has two sets of consonants, hard, unpalatalized, and soft, or palatalized, that is, pronounced with the tongue raised toward the roof of your mouth. We have hard m and soft n, hard d and soft d, hard t and soft t, and other pairs like these. And there are just a few exceptions. These consonants are always hard, sh, z, c. And these are always pronounced as soft consonants. Sh, ch. Now, how do we distinguish between hard and soft consonants in spelling? Russian does not have different letters for the hard and soft consonants, so we'll need a different system. There's a letter called the soft sign, or mehki znak. It has no sound of its own, it just shows that the consonant before it is soft. We'll use the soft sign if the soft consonant is at the end of a word. Здесь. Думать. Or if the soft consonant comes right before another consonant. Olga, broste. Here we know that the consonants highlighted in green are soft because they're followed by the soft sign. But what if the soft consonant is followed by a vowel sound? To write a soft consonant before a vowel sound, we won't use a special letter for the consonant itself. Instead, we'll use one of these five vowel letters. The names of the letters are Ya, ye, i, yo, and yu. When you see them used directly after a consonant, they don't just signify a vowel sound. They also show that the preceding consonant is soft. Let's look at some examples. Nya, nye, ni, nyo, nyu. Some people call these letters soft vowels, but I don't like to think of it that way because the vowel sounds themselves are not soft. Rather, these vowel letters show that the preceding consonant is soft. Now, to write a hard consonant before a vowel sound, use one of these vowel letters. A, E, U, O, and U. So here's how we can write a hard N before these vowel sounds. Na, Ne, Ni, No, Nu. Again, using these vowel letters shows us that the preceding consonant is hard. Let's look at some more examples. Listen for the hard and soft qualities of the consonants in each word. Na, nyanya, nep, net, lis, lis, moda, met, luk, lublu. Now let's review with some examples. Which consonants are hard and which are soft? Look carefully at the vowel letters following the consonants. They are your clue as to whether the consonant is hard or soft. Pause the video if you like, and then I'll add color. Blue for hard, green for soft. Volk. Volk. The letter O shows that the V is hard. The other consonants are hard too, since there's no soft sign. Utyuk. Utyuk. Before the letter U, we have a soft T, and the final G is hard. Tuleni. Tuleni. All the consonants in this word are soft. 
Зеркало. Зеркало. The first consonant before the letter Е is soft, and all the others are hard. Говори. Говори. The Г and В are hard, as the following letter О shows us. The last consonant is soft, since it's followed by the letter E. Now, why does all this matter? Well, there's a few reasons. Pronunciation. Soft and hard consonants are distinct sounds in Russian, and the meaning of a word may depend on whether a given consonant is hard or soft. Here's an example. Брат means brother. Брать means to take. If you're not distinguishing between hard and soft consonants, you'll definitely have a foreign accent in your Russian. Spelling. When you go on to learn about adding endings to words, the spelling of the ending often depends on whether the stem of the word ends in a soft or hard consonant. For example, if the word has a hard stem, like trus, an ending that sounds like a will be spelled like this, with the letter a. For a noun with a soft stem, like gus, that same ending will be spelled with the letter ya, because this letter shows that a preceding consonant is soft. And that's why when you go on to learn about cases, you'll see endings given in pairs, usually the one on the left for stems in a hard consonant, like trus, and the second for stems ending in a soft consonant, like gus. Summing up, most Russian consonants come in hard and soft pairs. Soft consonants are palatalized, that is, they're pronounced with the tongue raised toward the palate, the roof of your mouth. A few exceptions, zh, sh, Ts are always pronounced hard, sh, ch are always pronounced soft. To write a soft consonant at the end of a word or before another consonant, use the мягкий знак, the soft sign. Брать. Больно. To spell a soft consonant before a vowel sound, spell the vowel sound with one of these letters. Я, е, и, ё, and ю. Сели. Няня. To write a hard consonant before a vowel sound, use one of these vowel letters. А, э, и, о, and у. Та, бок, вы. To spell a hard consonant at the end of a word or before another consonant, you don't need to do anything. Just write the consonant letter itself. Запад, лодка. Again, this contrast of hard and soft consonants is a central concept in Russian, so please don't skip over this or think, well, it's a detail that I'll get back to later. You'll be applying these concepts all the time, so it really is an essential part of your foundation for learning Russian.